Hey guys, check out we got the fake map Dwarfin and he is looking pretty awesome. I am really digging this figure. Now, the price is going to be um, 99 US dollars, so around 100. You can probably find it for a lot less. Uh, as you can see here, it's going to come with standard face, challenging face, a face with grinning teeth, the daggers, and other optional parts. As you can see here, it's from the anime Violent Saga. And it's using real cloth material, which is pretty darn awesome. Now, the release date is going to be February 2024, so next year. You're going to be able to pair it right now, 145 millimeters, which if we take that 2 inches, is 5.7 inches tall. And... Let's check out the pictures here. Pretty darn nice. The fabric outfit looks great. A lot of detailing with the plastic. The knee joints here is where it looks a little bit bad, but we have to see it in action. The daggers look sharp, pointy. That looks great. The hair could use more hair separation. And the eyes look pretty good. The face looks pretty nice. It even has like rope on it. Yeah, they even have like a little bit of string there. That's pretty awesome. Check it out here. The knee looks looks okay. Uh, it, it could look better. I mean, it's not like a giant gaping hole there, but still pretty nice. It even has this little pouch here. I'm guessing that's where it carries the daggers. That's pretty cool. Really teeth look awesome. And again, those little ropes here. That looks great. Check it out there, screaming face. And this is a really nice looking figure. I mean, check it out here. Ooh. Remember the articulation in the legs? It looks like it's not gonna be hindered by the fabric outfit, which is great. I wonder if it's removable. Here you can see the back of it. And it has the hood. You can see the stitching lines here. Well done. It looks like you can carry another dagger here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, look at the dagger. The dagger's back here, and this one you holster it here in the front. Awesome. Like this. And here's everything you're getting, so you're not getting much. You're basically paying for a really good figure and the fabric outfit, which I like. I like the idea. I like the idea. I, I like this idea. I've always supported this idea. Uh, the thing is that obviously we want Link from Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom with a fabric outfit. That would be so awesome if they, if they come out with a few of them. That would be so great. But yeah, you're getting the normal Figma stand, the three different faces, the two daggers, and the different hands. As you can see there. Let's see. Looking pretty cool, honestly. So yeah. That is a pretty badass figure. That's cool what they did there. Pretty awesome. And I don't know anything about this anime, but might check it out after seeing this guy. So let's keep moving on. Oh, yeah, there's no pre order bonus and cannot be combined, sadly. This is Rei Takanachi Sokyu. This is also Figma. An online exclusive only available on Gizmo's website. As you can see, 115 US dollars. Sad face, face with closed eyes, shouting face, confused face, Raptor Break A, Sharp Feather A, Assured Hawk AT, Assured Hawk AB, Blue Bear A, Hawkeye, Pigeons, four of them, Long Hair Head Part, Scout Map Face, other option parts. Okay. Uh, this is from a game Comes out in February from Alice Gear Aegis Which is nice 140 millimeters, so five inches tall That's the normal size for the female figures. There's some exceptions obviously But this is pretty awesome. I mean she has this giant rifle um these things on the back 
He looks great, the little... I think this is what they're calling the pigeons. Because there's four of them. It comes with the good articulated stand, the hexagon one, and you get all these little um, stands, arms, so you can actually hold stuff up, which is pretty nice. You're gonna need that, that because it looks like this thing looks pretty heavy. Check it out, opens up there. Pretty darn cool. Oh, here it is. Transform to a sword, which is pretty awesome. I say transform, and it could just be different versions of them, which I'm pretty sure that's what they did. We'll, we'll figure it out once we get to that point. But check it out. This thing is so heavy that you need the extra arm to hold it up, which is... At least they included that because um, I don't think she's going to be able to hold that big thing by herself without the arm. You can see the little pigeons there flying. Uh, look from the back. Looking good. That's what the pigeons look from the back. The pigeons are, you know, okay. I mean, it's not like, oh my god, the pigeons! <laughs> you know, this is what she looks like without the armor or anything. She looks great. Very well detailed. I love, I'm really digging this hair color the blue but more hair separation come on good smile what happened you guys can give us more hair separation the eyes look pretty nice now uh, you can see that she has the logos on the slit sleeves and she also has this thing on the side there looks mechanical there's the other hair part so you can display her like this with the closer eyes And the other one here looking really cute that's great that's great that's looking pretty darn nice and i like how they did um the paint application here because you have the red here with this um darker gray and then you have a little bit of her skin but then you have black you have some white and you got some Transparent, transparent legging colors there, which looks good. And then you have to solve the shoes in red, which I like. Check it out here. And that is the other stand that she's going to come with. Looking pretty good. It's just the normal hexagon with just some stickers on it, you know, with some decals and in white. It looks good. And this is everything you're gonna be getting. So yeah, I was incorrect. Uh, it does not transform, but it gives you these optional parts, as you can see there. Just they're already, you know, transforming to those versions. You get two stands. You can see it here. Oh, you get three stands actually. You get the normal Figma stand, the two hexagons, the arms for them. So you get one, two, three, four. Okay. You get the armor parts. So you can put it on there. You get the different faces, you get the backpack, and you get the weapons, plus you get the pigeons, the different hands, and of course, uh, and the long hair, which is pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty awesome, you know, so you're getting quite a lot for this price, which is good. Now, if you're into Nendoroid, comes Iori Isumi, and he has a pre-order bonus. So, why is this pre-order bonus? As you can see here, coffee mug. Yeah, he has a mug. So, confident face, winking face, blushing face, the Kinato. And that's pretty much it. You know, for 41 US dollars, comes out November of this year from Idolish 7. 3 inches tall, by the way. So, let's take a look at him. It looks really nice, you know. Um, no, this is pretty much boy band territory here. <laughs> so, uh, hair separation could be more obviously here. They could have added a little bit more because they added quite a lot here, but then they went like, nah, let's not add that much. Um, I like the eye colors, they look good. Eyebrows look nice. Nice little smile, chibi face, of course. The necklace looks nice. 
And of course the cat feature there with the little bow tie. Looking pretty good and kiss the old school Nandori style, you're gonna be swapping out the arms, the legs and the hands. So you can do different poses with it. You can see it winking, you know, singing to you, blushing. That's a really strong blush she has going there. It's just saluting or, you know, just moving his hair, I'm guessing. Oh, look, he comes with this little cute thing. That's cute. Giving you a gift. This is what it looks like from the back. And that's pretty much it. That's all you're getting here. Now, the big thing here, and something that I find a little bit odd. This is the Mondrian Massinger CEST. Now, this Massinger, I'm pretty sure you already know what I'm talking about. 28 US dollars? What? Yeah, this Mondrian is 28 bucks. Uh, I, I don't know if they made a mistake, but it's 28 bucks. Um, as you can see, these are the places they're gonna ship them, and as you can see here, South Korea, Hong Kong, Macau, Indonesia, Singapore, Vietnam, Malaysia, Thailand, Philippines, United States, Canada, Mexico, Ecuador, Chile, Colombia, Peru, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Australia. New Zealand, Italy, United Kingdom, Spain, Germany, France, Netherlands, only. So if you do not live in any of these countries and you're planning on buying it from Goodsmile, from this website, you're not gonna get it sadly. Yeah. This is from Massinger Destroys Hell. As you can see here, he's gonna stand around 6 inches tall. Um, rocket punch effect, iron cutter, power powder. So he can have it with it on or without it. We're gonna lose some parts. You have to create a canopy as you can see here, and of course the chest. Okay, different color runners. So this is a model kit, January 2024, and cannot be combined. So let's take a look at this because the pricing is really weird to me. Like 28 bucks, really? So, as you can see, he has the rocket punch with the effect part. The effect part looks okay. I mean, it's not the best, but it looks okay. Uh, I know, I'm kind of snob when it comes to Massinger. Uh, the detailing on it looks pretty good. Remember that the one we're seeing here has been painted. Um, but when I got freaking Big O, I didn't have to paint much. So, I'm guessing this guy will be the same. But I do think, look, if there's something that you have to paint on this guy, I think it's gonna be these little red parts here. I think you're gonna have to paint those. And I think you might have to paint this area here. You might have to paint the silver along with the top of the feet from the look of it. Um, the partner looks pretty nice. Let's hopefully they give us a better look at the face. Yeah. There we go, okay. So you can see the hover pile there. I like I like how you no know, it, it folds up, it's pretty simple and you just plop it down there. Um these areas here you're probably gonna have to paint them, panel line them. The face honestly the face doesn't look that good. I don't know if if it's these pictures or just that it doesn't have any colors here. It's just fully blue I was expecting it to have a little bit of red or a little bit of the other colors but it has a, just a little bit of gray where the nose is um, the heat sink I thought it was gonna be more translucent but it's not that translucent it looks pretty solid but remember the one we're seeing here is painted so maybe that's what happened because you can see a little bit inside it here but it's not by much um, this is the iron cutter, which looks nice. This is a different style of the way they normally are, but I like them. 
Here is the dual rocket punch, and again, um, I wish this effect part was a little bit better than just red. And if I wish it was a little bit more translucent, that would be pretty nice. But he can take the knee, as you can see there. Good articulation. Here's a good look at the articulation. Hand, open hands. These figures do not, these, I mean, these markets do not come with stand, so you need to get them a stand. Rocket punch again, really? With the iron color, obviously. It is what it looks like from the back. So you got two points here. This is for the scrander, and this one is for the stand. Now, Big O, since he's so big, his attachment point for the stand is actually between his legs. Uh, I like how they did the back of the legs. This is pretty cool. The way they did it for to hide the joints. That, to me, I look at it and it's like, okay, so those are the knee joints, but they did a good job. It looks great. And as you can see, these red parts, I'm sure you're going to have to paint them because... The thing is that Big O, he's big, but there's not much inside the arms and the legs or the chest. So I'm guessing this guy's gonna be the same. Especially for the price. So, what are you getting here? You're getting, obviously, the model kit. You're getting the effect parts, you're getting the iron cutters, and you're getting different hands and the hover powder, and that's pretty much it. You're not getting anything else. But... Again, that pricing, this pricing, really cheap. Now the thing is that I already have uh, Massinger. I have the Infinity, the Infinity one from Bandai, the high grade. So, to me, this is an easy skip because I'm I'm looking. I'm honestly gonna upgrade all of my Massinger line up all the high grades into either metal builds uh chungo keys or freaking how you say this blitzways or three zero or ccs toys i'm gonna be doing that it's gonna be slow because i'm gonna cherry pick the ones that i want they're really expensive but slowly but surely i will do it and the thing is that if it's up and how in Japan, because if it's up there, let's see, um, yeah, here it is. Let's see the pricing. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, 30 bucks, 30 bucks. 30 bucks. Wow, so it, it is that cheap. Wow. You know what this means, guys? It's pretty darn cheap, so you guys might probably want to pick him up if you're a fan of this design. Uh, remember, like you said, you're probably not gonna have to paint much, except for these little red parts here on the legs and on the arms, and probably, obviously, in the back of the arms and legs. You know those red parts. So make sure you have a little bit of red paint with you, just in case. Um. But that does it for this video, guys. I mean, for the price, it's a good pickup. It's a good pickup. Why not? You know. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time.